Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Monday on the 28th week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Please be seated. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or, on, or end. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger. Our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly, and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent, is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. <coughs> we shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. From the farthest bounds of the earth, may God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the ends of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steppe and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Sela exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter His praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior, he stirs up his ardor. He shouts out his battle cry. Against his enemies, he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. 
But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You who stand in this sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to His name, for He is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for Himself, and Israel for His own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever His wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From His treasuries He sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians is small, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders He works in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the freeborn woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally, the son of the freeborn through a promise. Now this is an allegory. These women represent two covenants. One was from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is freedom, is freeborn, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you barren one who bore no children. Break forth and shout, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children not of the slave woman, but of the freeborn one. For freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun, is the name of the Lord to be praised. 
High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is His glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who looks upon the heavens and the earth below. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill He lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Please stand. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment day, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation and she will condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is somebody, something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the man of Nineveh will arise with a generation and condemn it because of the preaching of Jonah they repented and there is something greater than Jonah here the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ please be seated isa lamang palatandaan ang ipapahayag ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo Ano yung palatandaang yon? Ang palatandaan ni Jonas. Alam niyo yung ulat o kwento tungkol kay Jonas. Si Jonas ay sinugo ng Diyos sa bayan ng Ninibe upang sila'y babalaan na magugunaw yung kanilang siyudad sapagkat ang mga nakatira dito ay walang patumangga sa kanilang pagkakasala. Matindi na ang pagkakasala na sumuko na sa galit ng Diyos kaya binalak na ng Diyos na bunawin ang siyudad na iyan. Ganun pa man, nung marinig ng mga tao ang pahayag ni Honas, Nagbalik loob sila sa Diyos, sinsero. Nagsisi sila sa kanilang mga kasalanan. At alam nyo naman ng Diyos, hindi nakakatanggi kapag sinsero ang pagsisisi. Salmo 51, 21, marikikita nyo dyan, nakasulat, A humble and contrite heart. God cannot refuse. Bakit? Sapagat ang Diyos ay maawain. Hindi matatalo ng kasamaan ng tao ang awa ng Diyos. Ang nagpapakilo sa pag-ibig ng Diyos ay kanyang awa. Kaya yung pag-ibig ng Diyos buhay na buhay sapagat may awa sapagkat ang gawain ng pag-ibig ay awa at pagkahabag. Kung ang pag-ibig ay salita lang, eh ano yan? Tula lang yan. Kung yung pag-ibig ay tono lang na maganda, kanta lang yan. Kung yung pag-ibig eh, 
sinasayaw-sayaw lang at iniindak-indak. Ano yan? TikTok lang yan. That's entertainment. Pero kapag ka ang pag-ibig ay nahahabag, naaawa, ayaw ng tunay na pag-ibig. O kaya ang Diyos ay maawain. Kaya kung tayo man ay maliligtas dahil sa awa ng Diyos. Kung makikita niyo ako sa langit at makikita ko kayo sa langit, isa lang naman ang dahilan. Puro tayo pasang awa. Awa ng Diyos. Kaya kahit na anong galit ng Diyos sa mga tao sa Ninive, nung makinig yung mga tao ng Ninive sa pangangaral ni Jonah, nagbalik loob, nagbago, nagtika, tumaluntun sa tamang landas, humupa yung galit ng Diyos. Pinatawad sila. Ganyan ang Diyos nagpapatawad. Kaya tayo din matutong magpatawad. Sapagkat kung hindi tayo matututong magpatawad, ibig sabihin nun, hindi natin tinatanggap ang patawad ng Diyos. Ang Diyos lang ang nakapagpapatawad. Kaya nga hirap na hirap tayong magpatawad, eh, di ba? Pag may gumawa ng masama sa atin, anak, oh, ang tagal bago natin makalimutan. Ang tagal bago sumauli-uli yung ating pakikipagkaibigan at pakikiugnayan sa kanila. Ya kadalasan na sinasabi sa akin, eh, ng mga nangungumpisal sa akin, Father, hirap na hirap po ako magpatawad. Sabi ko gano'n, eh, nauunawaan ko, tao ka lang eh. Ang Diyos lang naman talaga ang sanay magpatawad. Tao ka lang. Kaya kung hindi mo tatanggapin ang ta pagpapatawad ng Diyos, hindi mo maiibigay sa iba yung hindi mo tinanggap. Pero kailangan matuto kang tanggapin mo yung awa ng Diyos sapagkat kapag hindi mo tinanggap ang awa ng Diyos, ano ay bibigay mong patawad? Hindi maghihilom yung sugat mo. Alam ko kaya hindi tayo makapagpatawad, nasugatan tayo. Hindi ko, Father, makalimutan talaga yung ginawa niya sa akin eh. O narunong na ako, masakit yun. At pag malalim, mas malalim, Siyempre, yung sugat. Mas matagal. Gumaling pag mas malalim. Pero kinakailangan gumaling. Kapag ka kayo nagkasugat at ang sugat nyo hindi gumagaling, ay diabetic kayo. Nako, kinakailangan ng gamutan yan sapagkat pag hindi gumaling yung sugat nyo, malamang iputuli ng paan nyo. Kailangan gumaling. O paano gagaling yan? Ang Diyos ang tutulong sa atin. Pinatawad ka ng Diyos. O de, binigyan ka ng patawad. O ano yung binigay sa iyo? Ibigay mo din sa kapwa mo. O yun ang palatandaang nasa sa iyo ang Diyos. Kaya nga meron tayong kasabahan. To err is to human. O nagkamali siya. Nasaktan tayo, mga tao lang kasi. To forgive is divine. Ano yung to forgive is divine? Pero yung pagpapatawad, ibig sabihin, ang Diyos lang ang nakagagawa niya. Kaya kapag ka nagawa niyo yan, ibig sabihin, ang Diyos ay suma sa inyo. Tinanggap niyo ang Diyos sa buhay niyo. Kaya sa pagkat tinanggap nyo ang Diyos sa buhay nyo, yung kanyang awa, yung kanyang patawad, na ibigay nyo sa iba. Eh bakit hindi nyo maibigay? Eh hindi nyo tinanggap eh. Kaya isa lang naman ang dahilan kung bakit tayo magkikita-kita sa langit. 
pinatawad tayo ng Diyos at natuto tayo magpatawad sa mga nagkasala sa atin. Kaya yan ang lagi nating dinadasal araw-araw. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkakasala para nang mapatawad namin ang mga nagkakasala sa amin. Sana natanggap niyo ang kapatawaran ng Diyos. Yun lamang ang dahilan kung bakit niyo matataw, papapatawad yung mga nagkasala sa inyo. We all stand to offer our prayers. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the hearts of all men and women may be converted to the Lord who calls the world to repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may accept the full message of the gospel, including those sayings that speak of trouble and the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the citizens of Nineveh, we may renounce our evil ways and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the elderly may find security and love from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those who may promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers in ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth is given. Human hands of made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Through the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Pinapala ang naparirito sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. O sana, o sana. O sana sa kailaasan. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Sa puso at pagkabuhay, kami natubos mong tunay. O Jesus, naming mahal, iligtas mo kaming tanay. O Jesus, naming mahal, ngayon at magpakailangan. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus loves us and in his love for us he taught us to call his own father our father so we have the courage to say our father who art Lord in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. We all this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oldest word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord for he has come to his people and set them free. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with your nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Kami po ito ang puso ang nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nakiisa sa amin sa pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia, na way pagpatuloy niyo po ang pagdarasal para sa mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. At makakaasa kayo, pagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we pray for the blessing of for the sick and the aging. And then after us pray for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.